In this video, I'm gonna give you the 2024 cheap eats around the Las Vegas Strip, next on Jaycation. What's up, JK Shooters? Welcome back to another video here in the Las Vegas series. It's been a couple years since I've done a Cheap Eats video here on the Las Vegas Strip, and I uncovered a few new spots, and I'm gonna give you about six or seven places that you can check out. And we did do a video at the Planet Hollywood of all their Cheap Eats, but there is one I haven't covered yet, so I wanna see if we can go in there and check it out. So let's go into Planet Hollywood, the hub of Cheap Eats on the Las Vegas Strip. So I've shown you guys La Salsa Cantina in the past, and a few other places places here in Planet Hollywood. First place that we're gonna go to is an oldie but a goodie. It's the ABC stores. Now there are two ABC stores here at Planet Hollywood. There's also one at the Showcase Mall by MGM Grand. And what I do here is I usually get my waters, the two for two dollars, one and a half liter bottles. But inside you got some Cheap Eats food. They got Spam Musubi. So let's see if we can grab some Spam Musubi at this ABC store. And there you go guys. 275 but if you get two, it's two for five bucks and they have the musubi spam. This one looks like it's sold out. And then they have musubi chicken katsu. Dad Kation, which one do you want? It's on me. Chicken katsu or musubi spam? I'll have the chicken. Deal. Wow, Fiji water is actually not that much. Buy one, get one for a dollar, it's two seventy five. dollars But you want to get these uh, Pure Life Waters, they're cheaper. And there you go, Pure Life Water, one twenty five, dollars but two for two bucks. So we'll start with that. I also like the ABC stores because they have two for six dollars for the cut water spirits. And look, 12.5% alcohol, it'll get you there quicker. So two fifty dollars Spam Musubi at ABC stores, nice and warm. Y'all know I don't like that rice but it's almost like a double spam because it's a little thicker, that's what she said. But for 250, this will get you going, especially if you're walking a lot during the day. Batman right. I would like to put a little sriracha in this though. All right, good start to the cheapies. Let's see what dad got. Hi, Dad Cajun here. I got the chicken katsu. I got it this time because I've already tried the spam musubi and I'm tired of that. So I'm gonna try this chicken katsu. All right, there's more chicken than the rice, which is the opposite of the Spam Musubi, where there's more rice than Spam. Chicken is good, a little dry, good with sriracha or any hot sauce. Approved. 250, not bad? Not bad at all. For 250, this will hit a spot. Over in Hawaii, in Oahu, you usually pack this to go to the beach. Now, here in Vegas, you can pack this and go on the strip and hit the pool. This will be a nice quick way for you to get a meal and get something in your tummy before you start drinking. And like I said, the Pure Life Nestle water, $1 each if you buy two. to stay hydrated. All right, let's find another cheap eat spot here at Planet Hollywood. Look at this store. Kelsey jerseys and Mahomes jerseys. The pr pretty sick Letterman jackets over here. Aw, oh, man. Serial killers closed for good. But check this out. There's gonna be a place called Miracle Eats opening up later this year. So we already covered Ocean One. The prices have risen, but they have omelets starting at $8.99. They still have the three for 12 uh, drink special, but you have to drink them all in one sitting. Yeah, still a cheap eats, but we already covered this, so let's move on. Hey, look, Dadcation, it's Subway. Hey, my favorite. We're not having that today. <laughs> yeah, but I'm having it someday. Probably. Ketchup Premium is another place that we've covered before, the burger bar. They do have two for one hot dog Tuesdays. We've done that too, so I can't do that. The rules for this video is I have to go to somewhere I haven't tried yet. So the drink specials, $4 Bud Light Draft, 25 ounce Tall Boys for five, and shots and house cocktails for five. Two for one, all signature hot dogs on Tuesdays. Wednesdays, two for one on all tenders. They also have a $6.99 burger special and you add a beer for only three bucks. I don't know if this burger is gonna be good though. And La Salsa Ken. Tina, it was $4.99. Now look at it. It's available till noon. Is there uh, two eggs, any style, and choice of bacon, ham, or sausage with Southwest potatoes and choice of corn or flour tortilla? $6.99 now. And they still have the 99 cent Bloody Marys and the $15 bottomless mimosas. And Blondie Sports Bar, we've done this as well. It was $3.99 for the breakfast burrito. It's really good. It's now $5.99. But they do have $3 domestic drafts and $1.99 Bloody Marys and $20 bottomless mimosas, $7.11. 
11 a.m. So we're gonna try flights. I've never been here before and they do have happy hour throughout the day. 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. they have mimosas and Bloody Marys three packs. So me and Dad Cajun are gonna split one flight, three flavors. And then uh, later on they have frozen margaritas, frozen daiquiris from 4 to 5. Then you got meals, mojitos, martinis, and frozen margaritas all switching off. The food deals here, they don't really have any food deals so we're just gonna take the $15 flight and see how big they are. We got the mimosas, you got your strawberry, peach, and orange. Basically they're five bucks a piece, but usually if you're gonna get this outside the hours of the special, it's 25 bucks. So let's try the strawberry mimosa. Oh, that's good. That's flavorful, I like that. Let's try the second one. This one's orange for sure. That's good too. Your classic mimosa. And then the peach one, a little paler in color. Peach one's the best. Peach and strawberry. These are winners. This will get your day going. I've always walked by flights, but I've never tried it before. These are good flights for sure. And those all day happy hour deals, just take a look at the menu. You'll want to come back for sure. Cheers. Mmm, that's tasty, refreshing. You can taste the strawberry. And it's got a kick right at the end. Is it worth the 15 for the flight? Now let me try the others. Try the peach. Here. Cheers. Oh yeah, bubbly. That peach is bubbly and it's good. This might be my favorite. Let me try the uh, other one here. Oh, classic orange mimosa. Very good. All three of them are good, but my favorite is the peach. Because there's bubbly and the taste is perfect. Worth the 15? I would say so, yeah. Five bucks a piece. You're in Vegas, so a pretty good deal. Bottoms up. Bottoms up. 2024 Planet Hollywood cheap beats are still cheap, but inflation really got it. Prices are up about $1.50 to $2 on the old cheap eats from places like La Salsa Cantina. Earl of Sandwich is my go-to here. Sandwiches now are $9.99 over there though. It used to be about $7.99. The coffee's still cheap. You can get coffee at Earl of Sandwich for $2.99 and it's bottomless. So you can keep refilling it if you want. Now we're going out of Planet Hollywood and showing you some more cheap eats. Technically I can't cover Stage Door Casino anymore because me and Jeff covered it in the past, but they do have $3 Coronas, $5 Patron shots, $3 one fourth beef hot dogs which we tried last time and one dollar bottles of Michelob and Bud Light so favorite bistro they also have live music here at night it's still early it's only like three o'clock look at this steak and egg special 1895 still a little pricey but it's 8 30 to 11 30 in the morning so favorite bistro here at the link promenade does have a happy hour 595 drafts bottles and drinks wine by the glass and some 995 finger foods it does go under our umbrella so let's try it out favorite bistro I have I have not covered this on my channel before, but I've been here with Jeff before on his channel, so I found a loophole. They have hors d'oeuvres here. I know, it's hors d'oeuvres, guys. Relax. And we're here at the favorite bistro at the Link Promenade. Monday to Thursday, they have a happy hour from 2 to 6. And 9.95 finger foods, but 5.95 drafts, bottles, and drinks and wines by the glass. Good enough here. That fits under the cheap eats umbrella. So let's try a few things out. They even have favorite shakes and smoothies. So there's even dessert cheap eats here. Strawberry cheesecake is 9.95. Creme brulee is 8.95. Their banana bread pudding 7.95, and the chocolate chip cookie sundae and vanilla ice cream 10.95. Not bad. And the finger foods here 9.95 for chicken wings, guacamole and chips, beef sliders, and we're gonna get the spinach dip. Dadcation, you're already drinking, man. Come on, hold on. Dadcation, 5.95 gin and tonics. Father son trip. Cheers, bro. Cheers. Go Chiefs. Chiefs kingdom, baby. That's a good gin and tonic, 5.95. You can drink a couple of those and it'll be a fun night. Hey, Dad Cation, so we got a, oh, the baguettes are already cut up. So what you gotta do is, for the spinach dip, dip 9.95, it comes in like a nice hot skillet. Oh, it's nice and cheesy too. Spinach dip is my favorite. 9.95. Yep, nice and warm. That is good spinach dip. 10 out of 10 recommend. Mm. All right, it's still happy hour here on the Link Promenade, so we'll do another cheap eats here. This is good, nice and 
cheesy and warm. That hits the spot after a long travel day, guys. This place is worth it, right, Pops? Oh, yeah. It was good. The spinach uh, dip hits the spot. I like that spinach dip. And it was hot, and, and the bread was warm. And In-N-Out is right across the way. Yeah. Ultimate yeah. cheap eat. In-N-Out and Tilted Kill. I know the rule is don't go to a place that I've tried before, and I technically will try the next place, but Dad Cation hasn't, and I want him to try these sliders, so we're going to Virgil's, guys. Next place we're checking out is Virgil's Barbecue. We've been here before, but Dad Cation hasn't tried their sliders, so we're going to have him try it. Next Cheap Eats is here at Virgil's Real Barbecue, and it's from 2 to 5, Monday to Thursday. So from 2 to 5 p.m., uh, Monday to Thursday, at the bar, you have to sit at the bar, they do have drink specials, $6 beers, their PBR, Virgil's Ale and IPA, Coors Light or Modelo, 6 bucks. The wine's 8 and they have cocktails anywhere from $7 to $8, too, but they also have barbecue sliders, pork, chicken, or brisket for 4 bucks. They got tacos, barbecue nachos for 8 bucks, fried sweet pickles for 8 bucks, Crispy hush puppies, potato chips for five bucks, and train wreck fries for ten bucks. So good deals over here for happy hour, two to five. All right, dedication. Six dollar ales. Cheers. And uh, you gotta try this brisket. It's good. Mm. Refreshing. Very refreshing. Ale. Nice bun. The brisket has barbecue sauce on it. Toothpick to hold it together. It's good stuff. They got the crystals hot sauce here. Well, I'll say bye to Chef Mike. Yeah, I'm doing a 30 for 30. Oh, man. Melting them up. Four bucks, bro. Four Happy bucks. hour. Really good. I love the crystals hot sauce. It's so good. Thumbs up, guys. All right, let's move on to the next spot. So to get these happy hour deals, you just have to dine at the bar, and you're good to go. Dad Cation. Yes. What did you think about Virgil's sliders? I like that. I like Virgil. The beef barbecue slider that we had. Four bucks? For four, four dollars, it hit. It's flavorful, huh? Very flavorful. You gotta put a little bit of sauce on it. They have a hot sauce, a little bit of a Tabasco. There's also a Tilted Kilt here. They have happy hour deals too, but I've already covered it. So we're gonna go to another spot. Let's check it out. The next Cheap Eats that we're going to here in 2024 is at New York, New York, and that's Greenberg's Deli. They have a breakfast special with four different things to choose from and a coffee or a hot tea for $8.95. They serve it until 11 a.m. It's around 9.30 right now in the morning. So let's go in and grab a couple of things with Dad Cation. So that's awesome. They give you four different choices. I went with the pastrami burrito, the deli burrito. Dad Cation got the pastrami bagel, but they also have like a bacon, egg, and cheese bagel as well as a vegan option. Comes with salsa, pastrami. Ooh, this is nice. $8.95, you get a pipe and hot coffee as well or hot tea. Get some of that salsa, good de gallo style. Mmm. Nice cheap eats breakfast here. I'm feeling it. Get that deli mustard right there. Mmm. Pastrami and deli mustard, thumbs up for sure. That is really good. I got me the bagel egg with the pastrami sandwich. It's an omelet style. Cheers. Let me see. Bagel is soft. You can taste the uh, pastrami and the egg is uh, it's all right. 95, good to go. Perfect for breakfast. This pipe and hot coffee, good enough. So another cheap eat here is Cerico's, and they have a 10.95 any slice and a bush light. We're here at the Horseshoe Food Court in the very back, in the bottom floor near the arcade, and we're gonna go to Zvaro's or Esbaro or Sabaro. <laughs> Comment down below. I never get it right, but they have a 5.95 breakfast pizza. So that's their daily breakfast menu from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. They have an express platter for 6.49 scrambled eggs and a biscuit, a made to order omelet. Well, that's $10.99, a little more expensive, but the breakfast slice is only $5.69, and they have a breakfast stromboli for $7.69. All right, we're taking it up to our room, which we're staying at the Horseshoe for Super Bowl week and trying it out there. Maybe Dad Cation will do a review. All right, guys, so there are two things that you can order for the breakfast slice. They have a sausage, egg, and cheese, and they also have a bacon, egg, and cheese. $5.69 is about $6.17 plus tax. This was kind of a small slice look That's at that small slice. that was super small borrows Zbarro's or s borrows zabaro i don't know how to ever say it s borrow s borrow that's what i'll say it as i always pronounce it as s borrow but this is 
the slice. I'm gonna try a bite and then Dad Cation will take the rest. This actually is a pizza that you could put ketchup on in my opinion because it's got egg on it. I like eggs and sausage with my ketchup, especially when it's like the McDonald's thing. So I would've gotten ketchup for this, but let's bite into it. Get some sausage. Not bad, put some Parmesan on there. Maybe some red pepper, but also some ketchup. All right, Dad Jason, try it out. Breakfast pizza. There you go, guys. Going down the deck. Mmm, tastes good. The sausage is uh, fresh, but the bread is kind of soft. Scrambled eggs. You can make this at home. Bread, scrambled eggs, and sausage. It's nothing special. And I, they also have the stromboli. It's a little more and it has a little more girth to it. This is a pretty small, sad pizza. And I got there right before 10 and they still had a ton of the breakfast slices, but it's six to 10 for the 5.69 deal. I mean, it's a cheap eat. So what are you gonna do? Cheap is cheap. Pretty small slice. So for that price, what, six something? Six, six yeah, 5.69. A little pricey. I'd say this is a good. Three dollars slice. A two dollar slice, <laughs> in my opinion. But it's good. All right, we got one more place to go. Let's fast forward down to the newest cheap eats on the Las Vegas Strip. Check it out, guys. The final place is the newest place here for Cheap Eats 2024 in Vegas. It's Whataburger and it just opened this week. It is February 10th right now as the filming of this video. I heard there's a pizza place here too called Perry's. We're gonna go inside, grab a few burgers and just check out what the prices are here at Whataburger. It's right in front of City Center before you turn the corner to Aria. So make sure you check it out. It's open 24 hours. Ah, oh, really cool. They have a bar here, tons of lighting and seating, a bunch of drafts. It's all super out. Wow, they even have all these TVs over here. And there's your menu, and it is Lunar New Year. Pretty cool, and there's an upstairs too, and more TVs up this way. I like this Whataburger. It might be the nicest one. So Perry's has little Avery's cheese for five bucks. Zesty Lady Liberty is only five bucks. Wow, their slices are not bad. Six dollars for the slice of the day. It is super busy over here. And I think they're having issues with their machine. You know, it's still the first week. They're trying to figure it out. All right, guys, so they have pizzas here this is their melt they got wings and more pizza here oh, they even have a huge communal desk over here right by the bar and it's all decorated here in Lunar New Year gear so check this out there's an outdoor balcony here more seating upstairs you got the large screen TVs even a sofa here and another big bar with drinks cocktails and everything this is awesome 24 hours check out the balcony here and a view of Las Vegas Boulevard and the new level up at Boulevard. Feeling it. That's pretty cool. They got, they're gonna have kiosk ordering here pretty soon. Boom. Six kiosks you can order from. Check that out. The line is building up, guys. Crazy over here. All right, we gotta head over to the airport soon, but we got the cheese slice, five bucks. It's warm. Bend it over a little. Water burger fries. What do you think about the water burger fries? Normal? Uh, it's normal, but uh, better. I think it's better than uh, McDonald's fries. <laughs> really? I think so. All right, Dad Cation. We're here at the airport because we were gonna miss the flights if we didn't come here. First things first. Never tried the water burger chicken tenders. I got ranch and I ordered buffalo sauce, but they gave me honey barbecue. Come on, man. Dad Cation. Dip it in. All right. Breading's not bad. It's actually pretty good. Mm hmm. Mm. Three, four, seven, sixty. Kind of small. Yeah. Tasty though. It's white meat. Very good. But I don't think it's worth seven fifty. Maybe five of them. Yep. They have five of them. I like it. All right. Next up is your classic water burger. We got the lettuce and the mustard base. The patty is pretty thin. We got onions in here. I like their spicy ketchup too. I've had it before in the past in Arizona. So we're gonna spicy ketchup it. Try it out. Can I have a bite of that? New guy. Mmm, <laughs> I love mustard on burgers. It's actually really good. Ketchup? Mm-hmm. Burger is tasty. I like the texture. It's actually pretty good. Still doesn't beat in and out though. Nope, pretty close. Burger is about seven sixty though. It's not bad. Yeah. Good price. I like the mustard in it. Mustard is not that sour. Just right. Spicy ketchup. 
All right, we got one more. Dedication, last but not least, this is the patty melt. This is the most expensive one, it's about nine bucks. Looks like they have grilled onions on some toast, a lot of Thousand Island dressing. It's a double patty with cheese. All right, guys, we gotta be quick. We gotta catch our flight back to San Diego. Mmm. Thousand Island sauce is good. Patty melt, nine out of 10. It's better than the water burger. Mm -hmm. It's a winner. Spicy ketchup. Yeah. The winner is chicken dinner. Dude, that spicy ketchup is bomb. The winner is the patty melt that case. Yep. Under 10 bucks, patty melt, get it with spicy ketchup. Their Thousand Island dressing is good. Doesn't be in and out doesn't be Shake Shack, but a really good new cheap pizza option. Water burger, and then you got Perry's, and it's a $5 cheese slice, and that cheese slice is actually as big as a Costco slice. Yep. Definitely a new cheap eats haven right next to a five-star hotel the Waldorf Astoria So it's a winner. That's a winner. They're still trying to sort out their kinks and everything and uh, once they get it all Sorted out it will be full go but the food yum Thumbs up. Yep I Give it a nine out of ten that Gation likes it, 9 out of 10. <laughs> Alright, Jake Gationers, that'll do it for Cheapies 2024 on the Las Vegas Strip. I really like the Greenberg's Deli deal at New York, New York, and that pizza with the bush lights over at Sirico's. Those are my favorites. Whataburger, open 24 hours, you get alcohol here, and you can also get pizza, and that's a $5 cheese slice. Pretty legit. And you can get a burger for about 7 bucks. the Whataburger. Yeah, thumbs up. And hope you guys like this Cheapies video we didn't get to go to Ellis Island but that's a little bit off the strip maybe we'll try that one of these days please give this video a like subscribe to Jake Cation and check out Las Vegas 777 let's go and we'll see you guys in the next one and in the words of me stay traveling in Las Vegas